The first thing you want to do is go to Wix.com. Make sure that you have an email address because that is how you can sign up for a free website. I know you don't have a login yet, but what you want to do is go up to the top and go to sign in. And what you'll see is I'm a new user or I'm an existing user. You want to make sure you're on I am new user and you want to put in your email address and a password for this website. It does not have to be the password to your email address, but a password you will use for this website. I often like to keep the two linked so that I always remember my password. Students, that's a really great idea when you're signing up um, for any account and teachers the same. So I will use <clears throat> although I'm an existing user so I'm gonna click that but still follow exactly what it is I'm doing then I'm going to go to go if you are not on your own personal computer I will remind you to unclick this I'm on my own personal computer so I'd like it to remember my password and then you'll come to a page that looks like this there are two places you can click create a new site or right down here, yours will be at the top because you won't have other sites in the works like I do yet, but hopefully someday soon you will be managing multiple sites. You want to go to create new site. So again, there's one up here, create new site, and one down here, create new site. So just click on create new site. Then you get to the page where you get to pick your template. Um, there are a bunch of different categories for your templates, and there are business and services. There's music, so that's great for our musicians, entertainment, online store, blog, but this is not a blog site, so I would um, suggest not using that one. Hotel and travel, restaurant and hospitality, photography, again, really great for photography students. Creative arts, which I think is great for art teachers, as well as um, artists that have multiple platforms. They may include photography, but it's all. Design, for those of you graphic designs out there, uh, designers out there. Retail and fashion, one-pagers, these are good for things like resumes, and then personal, as if it were a website about um, yourself, who you are, and what you do. And then when you click on the plus sign, it will show you under all these categories, um, various subcategories. So for teachers, I suggest business and services, community education. For students, I suggest if you're a musician, you can go to musician or music production, depending on what it is that you do. Um, and then photography, you can choose what type of photographer you are. Creative arts, the same. Artist, painter and illustrator. Portfolio for our students making our portfolio. Again, that's under creative arts portfolio. Under photography is more just the styles of photography. And then design, like I said, portfolios are there as well. So these are actually will bring up the same results, just so you know. Um, so they won't bring up two different sets of templates for you. So I'm going to go ahead with the education for the teachers. I'm going to choose that. Here you have it, a variety of templates for teachers. School supplies, university landing page, nature, country day school, therapy center, what kind of program are you running? And I do think that a lot of these really do reflect, it, for example, um, what they say. So a politician would be sort of community education. And if you look at the style and the colors, um, sort of the shapes, they do echo um, that of a politician or someone campaigning. After school programs have um, a, a more adolescent look to them youth center again um, a little hip kind of clean design so I think it's important to really go through these and choose a style that works for you you can customize your style so don't feel like just because you choose this this is going to be the only um, look that you'll be able to have you are able to modify these and modify them quite a bit so um, don't be too concerned like about this image that's not the image that will happen um, the text the colors those are the things that um, will come to you um, predetermined, but you can even change those. Um, so I think that, that it's an important thing to remind yourself when looking through these. And I just, I, I'm really excited to show you the different examples because I think it makes getting started uh, less intimidating. 
I myself tend to go to clean style, clean cut design, something like this. I find a little overwhelming as far as the background is concerned and I find myself leaning more towards websites with a look like this. So don't let that change what you think. All I'm asking you to do is make sure that it reflects what it is that you are creating your website about. So I am going to go ahead And choose mine. So this is just giving me a look. This is what it looks like, the overall page, and I'm gonna go ahead and say edit. Now this is going to be the page that I edit. I'm going to have to put all of my own information on this. Make sure students to look at your handout for what exactly you need. Welcome to Wix. Website. You're on your way to creating a that's going to pop up. All right, so here we have it. Uh, the next video will be about how to modify all this to fit your personal needs.